YouTube and YTPC. How are you all doing? I'm down here, southern Switzerland. The chalet apartment is and uh, enjoyed a bit of uh, sunny weather. We just yesterday we had some rain fronts and thunderstorms come over. So it's nice to be down here to chill out and we did actually get to Italy to Domodossolo over the border so traffic and tourism has kind of normalized everybody is well, most people were wearing masks but um, we didn't actually need to show our uh, vaccine records to prove anything for a few flying ants around here. They like the moist weather, I think. Housekeeping, Savanelli 315KS, actually a St. Nicholas Christmas edition, but I just fancy smoking this lovely Prince. And in it, Kentucky Bird which is a, a lovely tobacco you can get over here quite easily actually in Switzerland, Germany. And uh, it's actually got some flowers in it as part of the, the blend. And it, it, it's a really lovely mix, you know, Burley and Virginia and some flowers and sort of reasonably sweet. So it's good for me aromatic guy. Lighter is a uh, Z car with the X. See it there, including a tamper. Not so expensive. Uh, Japanese made, good, good uh, lighters generally. Behind me is the shed of Shangri-La we renovated last year. Well I just thought because um, actually since I did the first video about the market in Domodossola that's more than a year ago and actually I've got half my subscribers are new they wouldn't have necessarily seen it. I will put a link to that video in the bucket if you want to have a reminder of how that was that time but um, took a few clips while we were going around there take a look and we just arrived in Domodossola which is just across the border from Brig um, fantastic place and Saturday they do a market and see we're going to have a look at that a bit later on but of course the first thing you do you arrive you have to see these paninis these lovely sandwiches they do all kinds of lovely cafes to have a cocktail or just a lovely coffee with a snack and um, everybody milling around here and some with masks and some not <laughs> So it's just a wonderful place to be, you know. Uh, weather is a bit changeable and they said there might be some thunderstorms around today, we'll have to see. But uh, it's certainly a lovely day. So uh, we just got caught by a, a bit of a rain storm here, but uh, now the sun is back out, hopefully it won't be too uh, too wet this visit, but it's, it's more at the market, if you want a belt or something like that, it's incredible, the choice, wallets, you know, everything, it's, it's, it's actually the biggest I've ever seen in Domodossola, this market, fantastic. <laughs> We've got great music here, but they have like everything you can imagine, sort of uh, tablecloths and 
shapewear and, you know. But it's good they have a bit of uh, what sounds like almost Mexican music here. Is it a bit of atmosphere? This is actually the townhouse so where the mayor operates. And the mayor of this town must be a very clever guy with a good team because they have renovated and cleaned up and, and surfaced to make it the market town in this part of Italy. And it's absolutely wonderful. That's a, an example of how to run a town is what they've done here in Domodossola. Well, welcome to the uh, real Italian market. And uh, here you just, this is where the, the action is. With all these salamis and cheeses and hands. Absolutely fantastic. You see it everywhere, looking around, one stand after another. As I pointed out, the Italians are brilliant at, at these sort of mobile supermarkets built into trucks, They're especially done by a couple of companies in Italy and they, they do the most fantastic sort of luxury versions with all the cooling and everything that's needed. And so it's like, a, you know, a butcher shop on, a, on wheels. And look at this Parmesan. I mean, my mouth is watering enormously and look at those salamis and all kinds of different ones with you know rustico picante you know with a bit of spice in it and, and then oh look at that a lovely parmesan parmesan is actually a beautiful cheese just to eat on its own right and then we've got the fish stand over here squid and you name it it's all all there quite incredible and um, you know there's loads and hundreds of different cheeses that they have I the one from Sardinia which is fantastic um, what do we call that cheese from Sardinia Pecorino Sardi Sardo absolutely magnificent so my she who must be obeyed has ordered me to go to her favorite stand where we will uh, begin the process of loading up hundreds of tons of cheese and salami. But it's, it's just a joy to go to an Italian market and experience this. And, uh, and the quality is absolutely superb. You know. And it's probably, you know, about 30-40% less than you're going to pay in Switzerland. That's not even the point, really. It's more the uh, choice, the enormous choice that we have. Well, I'm absolutely amazed because uh, this is almost two or three times as big as it used, used to be uh, some years ago. It goes to part of the village that I or the little town of Domodossola goes really to almost the outskirts of it and it's incredible what they have you know so this is what I bought <laughs> a ton of um, ham and salami and mostly cheese but we also got pasta and they even gave us a, a bottle of wine uh, because we bought so much <laughs> but all of that would have cost me twice as much in um, Switzerland and uh, above all you know just the choices of things you can find which are very hard or, or difficult to, to get in uh, Switzerland certainly not that you won't get them at the supermarket or something like that it goes on and on on shoes and leather and you know The one that always makes me laugh is the kitchen appliances where they have stuff that my mother used and I thought that they don't make that anymore. And in Italy, see all these brushes and mops and stuff for, for cleaning, you know. It's quite incredible. Toilet plungers and, you know, 
I once found a bathroom plug which was a, a ball of black rubber on a chain and I thought well they, they don't make that anymore that was like from Victorian times but here in this kind of market you can find those things quite incredible and it's just a lovely place to to visit and there's a great restaurant right opposite the railway station um, Eurodossola it's called and that's a hotel it's a very good place uh, to dine and probably stay there if you ever visit Domodossola towards lunchtime they start to show shut down and close the stands you know which is why we got here at 10 o'clock to have enough time and not be rushed something for everyone you could literally say that so that was lovely and we uh, actually had lunch at the Eurodossola Hotel, which is just opposite the station. It's a great place to, to eat or even stay if you ever visit Domodossola. And um, here's actually a, a, a shot of what I had, which was the uh, Saltimbocca alla Romana with uh, risotto, beautiful. And of course we had an excellent uh, wine with it as well, this one. So that was truly excellent. Yesterday we had a bit of a fasting day to compensate for that. I've got a little visitor here. His name is Nero. Would you like to meet him? Hello Nero. Hello, hello little fella. He's about two years old and verspielt, um, you would say in German, which means playful and, uh, you know, he loves to sort of explore everything and sniff everything and have a look at everything. So we, sometimes I give him some cat crackers. Oh, here's his uh, friend here. Um, hello little fella. He looks like a 5% Maine Coon cat. And um, I forget his name, but actually I think he might from a, have a bit of looks wild cat in him. They come out here to play together and explore. So, uh, what did we bring back? Well, here's a little clip of uh, all the lovely, some, most of the lovely things. We bought some steaks and other things, but they were in the fridge, but a ton of cheese, of course. Have a look. So, uh, just this is most of what we bought at Domodossola. This is the uh, pecorino cheese, but with truffle in it. I'll tell you, this is absolutely irresistible and if you buy stuff there you buy a big chunk of it you know not a little uh, tiny piece we've got some uh, various meats actually we've got some steak and other stuff which is in the fridge uh, a couple of kilos of that and some sausages and then this fantastic ham that they do which is uh, beautifully seasoned and pure pure meat there's not a lot of fat in that it's a wonderful and then these dry tomatoes, which uh, my wife and I love very much. You put them in sandwiches, you can put them in all kinds of things, and they, they keep for a good time. Um, then we've got some beautiful pasta here, homemade fresh pasta with a uh, little meat in it. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. Oh, my wife has just kindly bought me this, uh, uh, what, what do we call that one, Sylvia? Oh, that's the parma shinkin, a parma ham, isn't it? And, um, this is even more intense in flavour than the other one. It's got a, 
fair amount of fat, but the fat uh, actually is where the flavour is sort of coming from. But you just cut it off and don't eat it, or you can, you know, cook it um, with something else. I don't know, but um, the, the meat is just absolutely fantastic and absolutely delicious. And then, of course, you have to, you saw me look at that uh, parmesan there, and of course, we bought uh, some for friends as well, two huge chunks of it. If you've uh, just always grated this on, on your pasta and stuff, it's fine and it's wonderful, but sometimes you can actually just take a chunk of this off and cut bits off and have it as a, an eating cheese in its own right. And it's absolutely uh, really delicious um, cheese and, and puts flavor in, into everything. Always we have some with our pasta and freshly grated, of course, that's important. And, um, well, they were so very kind, you know, and they said, well, well, here, have a bottle of wine on or not. Oh, so there's probably, you know, not the a top wine or something that certainly you could cook with it, but it uh, wouldn't surprise me if you can... For the sweet tooth, of course, I couldn't resist uh, biscotti, you know, good old Italian biscuits with hazelnuts in them, which, uh, which are also fantastic, so... That is the the uh, plunder that we brought back to Switzerland. Beautiful. I just love markets and Italian markets and great, all markets everywhere. Really, a great fun. They had less um, sort of vegetables and fruits. There were a few stands with those, but it was mostly sort of all this other stuff. But luckily for us, the uh, cheese and salami stands were where they normally are and uh, fully stocked. <laughs> well, not to make it too long, we might do a little uh, trip today, do a bit of wine tasting because I'm running low on red wine in the cellar. We had the relatives over a couple of days ago and made a dent in the cellar, so I might need to get some more. But we've done some walks which I might uh, show in the next video some, some about that. And that's the wonderful thing. In the summer months in Switzerland, you can do such lovely walks and hiking uh, at all kinds of altitudes, around lakes or up in the Alps, as you wish. Oh, before I go, actually I wanted to Shout out to the National Joy Smoker. Put a link down here with his channel. Uh, he's about 118 uh, subs, but so he's growing. But he's very recently, um, been making making videos, great videos, and uh, I like his style. He looks like a chap from early 1960s or the 1950s, a bit like. Um, our double A pipe man and um, he had his friend Rob um, and uh, his channel is uh, linked on to the video that I'm linked and um, they had a nice banter and talk uh, about their interests and uh, they're kind of collectors you know and uh, Rob for example has a great um, lantern collection so onion you, you're gonna have to johnny you're gonna have to have a look at that video because this guy is an actually expert on um, old american lanterns from 100 years ago as most marvelous collection i think they like old things both of them and so do i so i thought i'd uh, just mention that and uh, Anyone else who likes uh, antique things and uh, collecting things, do take a look at their, both their channels, they're very good. Beautiful. Anyway, keep it short this time. You all take care, look after yourselves. And uh, in three or four days, I'll see you again, give you an update. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.